It's going to be so important when the cameras turn off and when the country's attention turns to something else that we make sure that we don't forget these people. You know, as, a, as their elected representative in Congress, I certainly won't. But being able to make sure that we can keep a spotlight on this or return the spotlight to this disaster to make sure it never happens again is going to be really important. What are some common concerns you're hearing from some of the survivors now that this has gone from a rescue mission to a recovery? Their lives have been shattered into a million pieces and they're in the process of, of trying to pick up those pieces and they need help putting their lives back together. They have, I just spoke with a family whose, whose mom is still in the rubble and she has a car that was buried under the building in the parking garage and they're trying to get the auto insurance company to cover the, the car and so they can get a new car and uh, and the insurance company is actually making them prove that the car was there. How are they supposed to do that? It's buried under a 12-story building. These are challenges that these families are going to be dealing with in so many different ways and so my job as their representative is to try to thread some humanity through this bureaucracy and be able to make sure that we can start to try to ease those burdens for them and make things and clear obstacles out of their path. Is there anything from your time that you've spent in Surfside, is there anything that stands out to you where you think as a legislator, this is where federal law needs to come in, this is where federal law needs to be strengthened? There are things like the fact that there's only two counties out of 67 in Florida that require a 40 year building inspection and every other county doesn't require anything after a building gets their CEO. And making sure that your geography does not drive whether or not your building is safe to live in is, is where national standards may need to kick in. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, it's a federal agency that was given authority after 9-11 to analyze building disasters like this one. They're doing a very intensive forensic investigation with structural engineers and all kinds of other experts and they'll make recommendations to us. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be looking into, you know, do we need to have a floor that requires intervals of inspections as a building ages to make sure that when there's been deterioration that those state laws and, and local ordinances kick in to ensure that a building's repairs are made and that this isn't all a burden left on top of volunteer condo association board members. There are so many issues because we have families who have children that have medical needs and their cars are gone and they aren't necessarily able to get their kids to doctor appointments. There are you know, IRS concerns. When the charitable donations come, what are the tax liabilities? And if there are any, then you know, do we need to look at getting those weight? I mean, there's, there's so many different issues. Um, it's like a, ball, a big ball of yarn and you start to pull one thread and you're worried that the whole entire thing is going to unravel. And so we're just going to have to take this you know, family by family and issue by issue to ensure that we can give people the assistance that they need for the long haul.